Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So once again, Microsoft has started to add another productivity tool to the sidebar in Edge Canary, which is a preview version of the browser. Now, um, the latest addition to the productivity tools and the quick action buttons uh, in Edge Canary that Microsoft has started to test is the OneNote feed. Take notes as you browse the web. And this is turned off by default and I noticed in my overnight update to both browsers on both my devices and this was made available. So we just toggle that on, it places OneNote, uh, your OneNote feed in the sidebar as a pro productivity tool and quick action button. And now you can open your OneNote feed in the side panel in Edge Canary. So if you are using OneNote um, to take your notes, um, this could be a handy solution if and when it does roll out to a stable version in the future. Now, um, on that note, no pun intended, um, the features that Microsoft is testing in the side panel in Edge Canary, a lot of these um, these productivity tools and buttons are making their way and slowly trickling down into the stable version as I have been posting. So there is a good chance that the OneNote feed will be made available in the near future, I would say in the stable version of Microsoft Edge on desktop. Now, um, there is just another new addition, um, a minor little addition, but nonetheless, um, I thought you might find interesting that Microsoft has made again in Edge Canary. And just the other day, I posted that um, that uh, in Edge version 103, uh, back when that stable version rolled out, Microsoft removed the forward, forward navigation button in the toolbar uh, in Edge Canary on desktop. And um, as I posted in that uh, previous video just the other day, um, Microsoft had now included an option uh, in Edge Canary whether or not the forward button is automatically hidden uh, when it is not needed. Now, there's just another minor update to the setting of that uh, forward button in the appearance page. I just want to show you in case this would be of interest that um, the forward button um, you can now show automatically. So basically, it'll only be available when you need to go forward. So if you show it automatically, it's only displayed when you have um, a, pa a page to navigate forward to. And uh, um, if you, you'll see the other option, uh, if we toggle that menu, always show, and now you'll see it's always showing that button. And now if we go back and forward, navigate back and forward, it still displays even though there's no page to go forward to. Now this is more or less how it was when I did post the other day, but um, just wanted to highlight that they've now included a drop down menu instead of actually toggling the feature on and off completely like I did show you in that previous video. So thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.